so great to be here at the historic and famous Ice House Comedy Club, where so many of the all-time greats have stood in this very spot. People like Lisa Lampanelli, Pauly Shore, Andy Dick. You know, in second thought, can I get a clean mic? <sighs> Give me a minute, folks, while I get the Andy Dick off. <laughs> but it's great to be out here in LA. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, where things are a little bit different. For instance, when I'm watching the, the local news back home in Jacksonville and I hear this story, a Southside man was arrested after police raided his home and confiscated over 50 pounds of marijuana. My immediate reaction is, please don't let that be the guy that my guy's guy gets his weed from. <laughs> I can't just fake a shoulder injury like you lucky guys can. But that's all soon gonna change. We have the medicinal marijuana vote coming up in Florida this election, and you guys have the recreational vote here in California. Make some noise if you're voting yes. It's gonna be a really big deal. It's gonna change the world. I'm excited about it. And I think it's about time, folks, because marijuana is even safer than alcohol. There's no such thing as marijuana poisoning, and nobody's ever smashed a bong and tried to stab somebody with it. There's gonna be a lot of weed jokes, so buckle up. <laughs> I was driving my car the other day uh, in, here in LA and I heard a radio ad sponsored by an evangelical group encouraging people to vote no on cannabis legalization because they said that marijuana, legal, marijuana is a harmful drug. But folks, weed is not a harmful drug. Harmful drugs are made here by this guy. Marijuana is made here by this guy. <laughs> After all, this is what it says in the Bible, Genesis chapter 21, verse 29. God said, behold, I give you every herb bearing seed upon the face of the earth. So even God's voting yes. No wonder the Bible's made out of rolling papers. <laughs> 